Hey guys, so I am here on Sunday, I think it's the 28th. Currently driving to my apartment to talk to my old roommate, Mary. Um, just smooth some things out, but yeah, I just got done at my last like 808 leadership um, party. We went to the bowling alley and played some laser tag. It was super fun and I will talk to you guys when I get home. I think I'm gonna do a study in James and I'll take you guys along with me. All right, see you then. got done bowling and having fun with my friends from 808 um still kind of sitting in the fact that that was like the last thing that I'm going to get to do with my college ministry just because I'm going to be pretty busy working this summer so I don't really have time to go to the volleyball tournaments or the worship nights so this has kind of been like the closing of that chapter for me um so I'm kind of sitting in that right now but then also I'm in James so we're going to go through James chapter one verses um, 9 through 11. So the reading, it says, Believers in humble circumstances ought to take pride in their high position, but the rich should take pride in their humiliation, since they will pass away like a wildflower. For the sun rises with the scorching heat and withers the plant. Its blossom falls and its beauty is destroyed. In the same way, the rich will fade away even while they go about their business. So I said this in my last vlog because it was written down in my Bible, but I think it was meant for this first. And my thoughts on this are that circumstances are going to come and go and seasons, but the wealth of salvation never passes through seasons. It is constant. So it's, it's really quite silly of us to cling to materialistic things of the world that are just going to fade away. You can't hold on to that when this world passes away. You can't drag your expensive home and newest iPhone and coolest car with you to heaven what matters is your soul what matters is your relationship with God those things are eternal those things are everlasting those things are are solid and unchanging through through time whereas your wealth is going to fade away um so I wrote down Romans 12 3 so let's go see how that correlates Sorry, just flipping through my Bible here. Okay, so Romans 12, 3 says, For by the grace given to me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourselves more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. So this is really just saying, you know, we're all only human. No one of us is higher than the other because of our wealth or social status. And we should all just be humble and look at ourselves th with humility through the fact that without Jesus we're nothing and so that's just having that sober judgment of yourself and it being in accordance with the faith that God has distributed amongst each of us which is the faith in Jesus Christ like we should look at ourselves through that lens we shouldn't look at ourselves through the lens of wealth and um, money or social status or what's cool and not cool that's not a good way to judge a person that's not a good way to discern things and that's not a good way to live so yeah I'll just read those verses over you one more time uh, Romans 12 oh one second I have to go let my cat out okay and I'm back with my cat who wants to get away 
and he's gone. Um, so anyways, so the verse is Romans 12, 3, for by the grace given to me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the faith that God has distributed to each of you. And then James, it says James 1, 9 through 11, believers in humble circumstances ought to take pride in their high position. But the rich should take pride in their humiliation, since they will pass away like a wildflower. For the sun rises with scorching heat and withers the plant. Its blossom falls and its beauty is destroyed. In the same way, the rich will fade away even while they go about their business. So it's inevitable that your wealth is going to pass away and uh, that your wealth is going to pass away. Your circumstances are going to change. But the one thing that's not going to change is your wealth of your salvation. And so I would just advise you to treasure that. Anyways, I hope you guys had a great day and that you enjoyed this vlog. Hit the subscription button and the notification bell if you want to see more of my videos and leave in the comments below some topics that you'd like me to do videos about. Currently, we're going through the book of James and then just kind of going through vlogs of my life. But if you guys have anything you want me to talk about, I'd be more than happy to do it. Anyways, I'll see you guys later and have a good night or day, or whenever you're watching this. For me, it's night. All right, bye.